What is up, everybody? It's I, the captain. Doing a live stream. We'll see if everybody wants to come and hang out on this 4th of July Eve. If not, then I'll be playing by myself. <laughs> Prompt to stream. Already got five viewers though. Welcome everybody. Nice to see you. I haven't played this game on stream since I first started doing YouTube, so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. It's been so long since you see me, I must be a journeyman. <laughs> nope, nope, not yet. But uh, yeah, I'm still around. I am just not had time for videos. But I thought I'd play a game and do some live stream at the same time just to reconnect with everybody. So uh, nice to see you, this guy's garage. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, let's see, time is replaced. Uh, can't be started, lack of engine power. Car is loud. Nothing else, just car is loud. Uh, vehicle can't start. A strange noise from engine bay. Change filter and oil. Loud exhaust. Lack of engine power. Poor brake performance. And poor brake performance. All right, let's uh, let's start with this one. Let's get it slow. Where's my car? Holy jeez, look at this. Good God. <laughs> they just got brake problems. That's it? You got me kidding me. Oh, okay. That thing looks like a freaking hoopty. See, that's probably one of them. Oh, look at those parts when they came off. So, brake caliper is in 39%, brake pads are at 19%, rotors at 40%. How you been doing, this guy's garage? Hope you're uh, ready for a nice Fourth of July weekend. Let's see, calipers at 36 percent, brake pads at 42 percent. I'll go ahead and replace both of them. Why not? Pad slap? Heck yeah, dude! No, oh, didn't like when I put the S on brake. Alright, so let's get two of these. Let's get two of these. Two of these. That's what everybody comes in for, right? Just a pad slap? If, if, if only doing breaks was this easy. I mean, it's not like it's hard, but still. Specs here. I'm Canadian, but I'll have a few wobbly pops with my brother in arms. Wobbly pops. I'm assuming that's beers. And I 
like the phrase wobbly pops. Okay, was that everything? Part not discovered. So I'm gonna assume. Whoo! Four percent. These came up great. Forty-six percent. Fifty-one percent. So we just need it. Right. So it's funny, I was sitting at, sitting at home yesterday playing this, and uh, my wife asked me, she's like, you do this all day long, why do you want to come home and do this at night? I'm like, because it's fun. Why not? I'm celebrating a, a white Russian right at the moment. Can I say that these days? I don't know. I will, I'll allow it. Alright. Finish order, got paid 132 bucks, spent 70 bucks. You got a $25 bonus. Heck yeah. More money. Money, 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 money. Almost. Almost to the point of getting skill upgrade. Alright. Have phone calls we got going on. Uh, ooh, a Dodge Viper. The engine is working, but it's choppy. And the filters need replacement. Okay, we can't, kind of can't not do a Viper. Look at that. It's even got the Uconnect stereo in it and everything. That rich Corinthian leather. That don't sound choppy, that sounds like a no start. Eek. I'll be honest, I've I don't know much about Viper engines. <clears throat> so we didn't really cover those in school, and my shop doesn't really see Vipers. So we're going to uh what they say was wrong with this again? Oh, well, hell, it gives me everything I gotta do. Shit, this is gonna be cake. Move. Here. Rhode Island, huh? Okay, first things first. Let's get this engine cover off here. So, ignition coils, we've got three ignition coils, an ignition wire, B, and fuel pump. Well, there's the reason why it doesn't start. It needs a fuel pump. be examined by OBD scanner. Okay, so this and this. Let's get our OBD scanner up. Let's get a read. I'd 
I'd like to know what OBD scanner can read, like one that looks like that and it can read ignition coils. Yeah, no fuel. I know he said that already. I saw. Alright. Oh. oh, so it's just the three on this side. Okay. And. Let's. Look at that. Look at that oil filter. Ugh. Fuel filter. What's up, speedy chick? How's it going? Alright, so. Mr. Salty himself. Everyday fleet tech. Uh, let's see. Uh, ignition coil. If I can type, good lord. Uh, crap, was it this one? I think it was that one. Jeez, 99 bucks a piece? Just wrench it! What's going on, man? Thanks for joining the stream with me tonight. Oops, wrong button. Alright. Uh, yeah. V10A. So, let's buy three of those. So, if you guys haven't noticed, obviously, I bought the, um, I bought the Mopar, or the Dodge DLC for this, because it was on sale. And it's got like a Hellcat and an SRT and a Viper and I think a couple other cars too. So that's uh, one reason why we have a Viper in my garage right now. And what else? There was something else happening. What was it? Ignition wires B. So let's go ahead and buy those. Ignition. No, I guess by type of wires. Ignition wires. B V ten. I'm going to what was it? Doesn't hurt to double check since we're spending money. B V ten A. You're wondering about this game? Well here, here's your chance to check it out, man. B B V ten A, I need those. Okay. So part mount. Put our new ignition coils in. Again, who cares about torque specs? And then we'll put in our new ignition wires. And then we'll put our coil cover back on. We'll put the other one back on. Take it off for no reason. Gotta go. Happy Fourth, everyone. Thanks a lot for stopping by this guy's garage. I really appreciate you stopping by for a minute. Hope you have a happy Fourth. Well, well, I guess. Your wobbly pops with your brother in arms. Have a good one, man. Okay. Uh, let's see. So now we gotta do the fuel pump. Uh, where? So there's fuel filter. Where's the fuel pump on a Viper? Let's look at the part. Maybe that'll tell me. Fuel pump. Speedy chick, where's the fuel pump on a... Oh, it's in the... Duh. God, bro. <laughs> okay, 90 degree weather for the last week has fried my brain. And apparently I can't think of where a freaking fuel pump is. <sighs> okay, so... We gotta do fuel filters while we're in here. So, let's go ahead and pull this off, and we'll get a fuel filter. I guess we should shorten that up. Fuel filter. There we go. 28 bucks. Tank. I know. 
I know. Just had a brain fart. Don't don't razz me too much for it. Okay, new fuel filters put in. And nope, not in the trunk. Shut the trunk. Very hot, dude. You know how hot it is. Drive shaft just goes right through the plastic. Who cares? Um, hmm. Well, we gotta empty the oil for anyways, because move equipment, car lift A, and use equipment. So how's uh, how's training going? Speedy chick. V10. So we we'll buy one of those. V10. That one. Let's put the oil filter back on. And then put oil in it. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get to uh fuel tank. Oh, there it is. Let's take the rear bumper off just like that. Super easy. Uh fuel tank. What you need to get is you need to get a a bullhorn so you can just talk through the mask into the bullhorn and it amplifies your voice. That just makes things a lot easier. Am I going to have to take all this off? To get to... Take your license plate. Car battery. So easy. Yeah, so easy. Alright, you guys are going to get to watch me struggle for a minute because I'm going to figure out how to... Uh... Yeah, that's what you need, like a lovelier mic that goes inside your mask. That would, that would probably work. Alright. So how do I get this fuel tank out? Am I going to have to remove like all the rear suspension to get this fuel tank out? If so, that is dumb. I guess we'll put all this stuff back on because obviously we got nowhere with that.
guess we'll skip that for a minute. Let's put the put the oil in. Blood, 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 blood. Oh, I'm Where's my dipstick at? No, it's over here. Looks good to me. status. Fuel pump, filters, oh, forgot the air filter. Successful from it. I was in the engine bay. Stupid thing. Wow, that thing's gross. Right. I mean, at least they, at least they went realistic with it. Uh, air Filter. God, I always forget why I pull off this uh, this freaking vehicle. Oh, apparently I still have his license plate. V10A. V10A. This one. Part mount. Put the new one in. Cover back on. Break those down. Okay. So, those are all done. Ooh, I'm getting a good payout on this one. $607? What? Alright, so we gotta figure out how to get that fuel pump out. I'm wondering. Let's shut the hood. And let's shut the truck. Put license plate back on so it doesn't get pulled over. And nothing. Uh, oh wait, interior disassembly. No, that's not what I needed either. I need right here. This is where I need. It will not let me do it. That's how easy it is to put a trunk on, guys. Just slap it on there. Is that a... Is that a Harbor Freight generator next to the workbench? Uh... Says... I don't know, I can't get down there closer to it. Marine tools? I don't know, looks like a Harbor... Harbor Freight generator. So, yeah, I hear you, phone. Ring, ring. Until I figure out how to get this fuel pump out. Lift and drop with a cart or something I can't use them. that's nothing. A spring cooler, toolbox. I don't think I have anything. It's gotta come out somehow. This
Really? Is that all it is? Oh my god. You don't have to drop the tank. They're like, oh, I can just reach it. Stupid. If things were only like this in real life. I would make so much freaking money. Okay, watch me put this new fuel pump in. Done. Slap that rear bumper back on it. Right, are we done? Checked off. Checked off. We're getting a thousand dollars for that one. Bam. Oh wait. Engine cover is missing from the car. Oh, duh. Yeah, those things are overrated. Who needs an engine cover? I'm just trying to get extra parts for my warehouse. Finish. Trunk went. Really? Put your window back in. Alright. Now do we have everything on the car? Yes. Gone. Ooh, I got a case. Let's see what's in our case. Yes. Name that car part. I got a heat shield, a rubber bushing, and a rim. Wow. Awesome. Uh, cell parts. Eh, why not? Okay. Alright. Did I get enough? Did that level up? Oh, I'm so close. Like, one more job and I'm leveled up for another skill point. So, how's everybody doing today? Everybody have a good week? FMW Panther? What is that? Looks like a BMW. Brake system needs fixing on a Royale Danaco. Oh, look what just came in. Change engine oil and filter. Heck yeah, we'll take that. Look at that. Look at that supercharger. Isn't that a sexy beast right there? Well, you know what? I mean... Oh wait, I should do this. We gotta make sure there's no problems. We better go drive it. We better go drive it and make sure. Thorough inspection of a vehicle. That's what we have to do. change. What's these, what's these dents? Ah, uh, don't worry about those. They'll be alright. Oh, everything's good. Alright. Might need more than oil change. Heck yeah, it would. Look at that. It's even got Hellcat. The Hellcat on the side. That's... I wonder if there's any dents over here. Those scratches were there when they came when it came in. You guys saw that, right? 
You guys saw that. This is the two hour oil change too. This is the one where you gotta drain the oil cooler and everything. They need a Hellcat Durango. I know, right? Oh, I saw the pictures of those. These things look sick. like my normal life too. What is that? Like, kill somebody? How many miles are on this car? 23,000 miles. This fixed, fixed, $124 for a oil change on a Hellcat. Didn't even have to do the oil cooler. And we got a level. So, unlocks compression tester. This test will give you information about the general condition of the engine, parts like the cylinder head, engine block, pistons will be examined. You can use it for parts. Yeah, that'd probably be a good thing. What's this? 5% more income for finished orders. Know your value. I know what I'm worth. And then... I don't worry about that. Although, I kind of want the multimeter. Like, I feel like I need a multimeter that will open up electrical jobs. As much as I hate those. But I'm also wondering if I want to get the compression tester. What do you guys think? Multimeter or compression tester? I'll leave it up to you guys. And it's not my fault that I can't get it before I get to level seven, so and I got the OBD tool before I got the before I got the uh, multimeter. Get the multimeter? meter. Alright, we're getting the meter. Bam. Now we can do fun electrical work. Hey. Alright, so brake problem. Uh, transmission not responsive. Transmission is noisy. 124,000. Let's check this out. Uh, this one is new engine oil, oil and filter, place all filters, place all timing parts, loud when accelerating, and cannot start, filters, general engine control and repair. What does that even mean? Driver struggling to find the gears. Car is loud. <laughs> it's like... It's like being at my shop. Car is loud. I kind of. Oh, 
where'd it go? There it is. I kind of want to do this one. We're going to do the transmission. What kind of paint job is this? Good lord. Katsumoto. So we're gonna have to put in a new gearbox, new flywheel, clutch and push plate, clutch and plate, and clutch release bearing. Alright, so we really don't have to diag it because it's already diag for us. Let's just dive in and see what we can do. Probably at least pop the hood. My guess is that, considering what I need is right here, all that, and obviously I can't take that out right now, probably gonna have to take out like all this, possibly some, some suspension. Actually, I probably didn't have to go that far. Um. Probably got the same. Oop, wait, where am I? Here I am. Got other front right this bores you guys, why don't you tell me? I'm, like I said, I'm just kind of. Still can't get the gearbox out, obviously. exhaust manifold to just take the exhaust out. Seems legit.
Now we're taking care of this now. Flywheel, clutch plate, pressure plate. New clutch release bearing. And new gearbox. That wasn't horrible. Put that back in. Bearing back in. Well, they didn't want that replaced, so whatever. Wasn't on the RO. Exhaust back on. Oh wait, I, just, I think I just gave them a, a new exhaust. Oh well, no big deal. Three parts, why not? Back on. Oh, that's that new heat shield that's got. Well, you got some new, new parts for no reason. Just because I had them. Lateral damage, gotta pay for it, sorry. That how it works. Ok, 
So what's everybody got planned for this weekend? Anything fun since it's 4th of July? I know we've got to go to uh, Indiana to see some relatives and pick up my young do youngest daughter because she's over to see relatives. And then we'll come back and do cookout and fireworks and all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, let's see if I forgot anything. Fixed, fixed. Three thousand dollars? Woo! <laughs> I never forgot something. I always do. Uh, let's see, I gotta get that to the end of the day. They don't need a starter. Psh. Starters are overrated. Okay, did I forget anything else? Nope. Alright. Any more skill points yet? Nope. Junk, anything below fifty uh, percent. Goodbye. Got a supercharger. Do I need a V eight supercharger? Let's see. Willie's Jeep Civilian. Strange noise from engine bay. Replace oil filter. Oh, filter need replacing. Brake seats. Strange noise from engine bay. I wonder what that is. Pretty sure strange noise is that it won't start. What if it'll let me drive it? Cannot start engine. Okay. Ah! Not shit over here. Hold on, text messages. Gotta see where they're from. at this for almost an hour so far. Jeez. Well, let's see here. Obviously we need a fuel filter. Car does not have an OBD port. Duh. <laughs> that was funny. You just take your meter and just turn the dial about three or four times, and and then you can figure out all this. So. Those parts don't look the greatest. Okay, so... Alright, let's start with... Fuel filter. Filter. 
Somebody's still watching, and I appreciate you. Or do I not see an oil filter? Okay, so... Cannot start engine. Why can I not start engine? I gave you this new stuff. Why won't you start?
It can't be... Ah, stupid thing. No OBD port. That's super so bad. Because they're red. Spark. Spark them up, plugs. Spark. Need four of those. Start now. Nope, still won't start. Uh, move car here. Why you no start car? you let me take the uh, distributor cap off? Oh, because I really got to take these little bitty clips off. Uh, you're getting a whole new distributor. I like wasting money on parts. Put these back on. you start Don't care about brakes. Got that done. Got that done. Got that done. So wait a minute. If I got that done, and the only thing left is the brake system, why will it not start? 
I don't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Take it somewhere else to get it fixed. Cause, oh. oh, maybe that's really. I wonder if that's what was keeping it from starting. I've only got one viewer, so thanks for sticking with me, but I think I'm going to call it a night. That seem to be very many people out on the YouTubes tonight, so uh, if you guys are watching this afterwards, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, we'll see you next time whenever I decide to stream this.